Hey, Mr. Crawford here, uh, and I'm going to kind of walk you through how to make uh, an at-home ecosystem, so a micro ecosystem. I'm going to show you how to make one of those. Now, uh, these are items you should have at home or you might have at home. Okay, you're going to need maybe some sort of plastic bottle. I have an old, uh, it's a one liter. You don't have to have one liter. You can do this with a two liter. Uh, you can do this with, uh, you know, just like a 12 ounce bottle, a small little juice bottle, some sort of plastic bottle that you can cut in half. Um, another option is, you know, uh, if you have permission from your parents, maybe you use a, a mason jar or a smaller mason jar. Okay, something that can, uh, you can uh, open up and basically close. Um, so you might be wondering, Mr. Crawford, how, how are we going to put stuff inside of this bottle? Okay, well, you're going to have to actually cut this. And what you could do uh, to properly cut a pop bottle is remove the top, and then you can actually uh, pinch, it, pinch it together, and then you could use your scissors to cut it, and then you start and you cut it around in a circle. Now, I'm not going to cut this bottle because I already have one pre-cut for you. So roughly, you can cut it in half or, you know, cut it... Uh, Cut it somewhere around the middle, okay? And I'm gonna be working with this bottom here. Uh, the substances, the, the things, the parts of this ecosystem we're gonna use is, um, generally when you think about the earth, we have topsoil, and then once you go down past that topsoil, um, you have, uh, you start to see what is specific to that soil type for that area. Uh, all around Michigan, we have different types of soil, okay? But I won't get into the details of that because I could really nerd out on soil if I wanted to. But what I have is some sort of rock, is when you're making this at-home ecosystem, they ask you to use some sort of rocks, okay? So I went to the baseball diamond just outside the classroom, and I grabbed some really tiny pebbles. So I'm going to add some of those, okay? You might ask... Uh, uh, your parents or guardian, um, you know, hey, where can I get some rocks? I just need some rocks for a science experiment. Okay, and I'm just going to fill up a little bit. They say in the instructions it says, you know, in the instructions in 1.3, it says to use about, eh, about an inch of stone or whatnot. So you don't have to accurately measure it out for this, just a little bit. Then it says put some soil on top of those rocks. Um, so I have potting soil because I had some in a closet uh, because it's, you know, it's a science lab. But with your parent or guardian's permission, maybe you can go outside and you can just like take a shovel and dig a little bit of dirt out and sprinkle it in here. You don't have to go out and buy potting soil with like nutrients and like, uh, you know, growing medium. You don't need all that. Let's just get whatever you got, okay? Whatever you got. So... Um, I'm going to take some mint here. Not mint, I was growing mint in this soil. I'm gonna take some soil and I'm just gonna sprinkle it in and you should have more soil than you do rocks. Okay, so I'm just gonna say that's, that's good enough. So I've got, you can see the gray layer of stone, then you can see the uh, dark brown uh, color of soil, okay very rich in nutrients, all right? And I'm just going to uh, put some more in here, actually. All right, add that all in, perfect. Now, <coughs> okay, um, they suggest in the instructions they, they, they tell you to get some bean seeds. You don't have to get bean seeds. I'm not gonna give you any bean seeds. There are plenty of seeds out there in nature you could use. Now here's a popular one, okay, that grows under the most wildest conditions. I bet you recognize this. Probably saying it out loud right now. These are dandelions, okay, this is a dandelion, all right, and the seeds, are pretty wicked looking. All right, they look like an umbrella, and I know it's hard to see, probably can't even see that, but this is one tiny little seed here, and I'm going to put it 
inside the soil. Just push it down a little bit, you know. Just put it down just just the, uh, the depth of my fingernail. I'm just gonna push it down and then I'm gonna cover it with soil. Okay, and I'm gonna plant a couple of these in here just in case one doesn't make it, right? Matter of fact, maybe I'll put a few. I'll just kind of pinch off a, a handful of them, all right? Okay, and I'm just going to push them down in the soil because we're creating a miniature environment here, all right? I've got my rocks, I've got my soil, I've got uh, my organism, soon to be organism, the seed of a future organism, right? Dandelions here. Um, now, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. We've got to add water into the equation, water into this environment. Okay, so I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to do that using the top of my pop bottle here. Give me one second. Got a lot of water here, but I'm not going to add it all to the the uh, our micro ecosystem. I'm just going to kind of pour all around it. And look at this. Look how dry this soil is. The soil is so dry that the water is just kind of sitting on top. So when you think about when it's really dry in Michigan, and we get those flash flash floods or those really heavy rainfalls. This is what the soil is doing. The soil is just so dry, it's not letting the water in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, just some scissors to kind of poke this around and almost like mix it up a little bit, okay? Because I want this soil to uh, soak up this water a bit more, all right? So that's what I'm doing. Mixing it up so the soil absorbs you probably shouldn't use scissors for this, but this is just what I have uh, nearby, so I'm gonna use that. All right, I've mixed it up. Okay, maybe I'll sprinkle a couple more dandelion seeds in there because I added them a little soon. I'll pack this down, pack this down. Pa, pa, pa. I'm gonna add some more water here. All right. Maybe I will end up adding it all. I didn't plan on it, but now I'm gonna add it all. Okay. And you're gonna get a little dirt on your hands during this, so it's just fine, you know? Not gonna hurt you. Dirt don't hurt. Okay. I'm gonna keep kind of mixing it up here. All right. I've got a little bit of a, a mud happening. I'm gonna add a little bit more soil. Dry soil that I can mix in, kind of soak up a little bit of that water. So I put a little bit too much water in. Okay. I've got a pretty good blend here. Pretty good blend, all right? So I've got water in my soil. I've got it mixed up, okay? Now, the experiment calls for worms. You don't need to put worms in here just because, I mean, if the worms end up dying, then they start decomposing in your environment, and now you just got yourself, uh, got yourself a situation that might start to smell, okay? So, all right. Like I said, I want to make sure that I disturbed the soil a lot, so I don't know how far deep down those seeds are. So I'm gonna put some more seeds in there, just on the top, just because, like I said, I don't know how far deep those dandelion seeds went. So here, all right, I've got my soil, I've got my rocks, okay? And simply, I'm going to put the lid on top of it, all right? And what we're making, like I said, is a small, a micro environment, okay? And I might actually go like this on the inside, okay? All 
All right, and it should look like this, okay? And over time, we're gonna have some processes taking place that we'll talk about a little bit in class. But for as right now, you've got your soil, you got your seeds in the soil. Seeds could come from anywhere, right? An old tomato, an old pepper. Maybe you have a dandelion out front, okay? Go ahead, put a seed in there, and let's see how long it takes to, to grow. And then you got some rocks down there, all right? So if you have questions, email me, um, and I'll try and help you out. Uh, follow the directions in this video. Um, like I said, I'm not, you don't have to have beans. You can have any kind of seed. Do not use worms because if the worms die, you're going to have a smelly uh, micro environment. Okay. And keep, you know, take a look every single day, right? Changes may not occur super fast or they might occur faster than you think. Okay. So I hope you have fun with this. Thank you.